Check it out, Browns Park. You can see the Green River flowing down through there. That's the Allen Ranch. We're gonna head up the John Jarvie Ranch historical site up that direction. We're gonna head down the road and find Swallow Canyon and the Swinging Bridge in this route. Hello everyone. Hey, today's a special day. During our stay in Dutch John and while we're floating the Green River, we're gonna take a day off from the river. We're gonna head down into the infamous Browns Park, home of the Wild Bunch, Butch, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Our destination down here is the John Jarvie Ranch, uh, which was a notorious hideout for the uh, outlaws. Uh, we're gonna go try and find uh, the Swinging Bridge to see if it's still intact. And we're also gonna go and step on top of the beautiful, amazing Swallow Canyon overlooking uh, the Green River. So this is a really exciting historical place. Tons to do down here and see. This is uh, gonna be about an hour, hour and a half out of Dutch John. So John Jarvie was a storekeeper kept all the supplies and kept this entire community down here supplied with flour, all kinds of things. Interesting story about John Jarvie. Everybody loved him down here, but he was held up and murdered by two bandits. They set his body afloat on the ferry and sent it down the river. They found him like three or four days later. That'd be gruesome. But uh, they never did, the story goes, they never did find the murderers. Okay, this is the temporary entrance to get into Brown, into the John Jarvie Ranch. Oh, look, a little horned toad. I haven't seen one of them forever. Is that actually a horny toad? Actually called a horned toad, not a horny toad. No, it's just regular lizard, doesn't have his tail. Must be the current resident living here. That's all I can figure. He's gonna let us get right up on him before he skitters away, isn't he? Oh, he's very photogenic. Oh, he's just in that right there for us. Okay. So here's the blacksmith shops, 1880s. Look at all these old implements, old grating. And what do we have here? Is this true? Is this really where people are buried? Are you kidding me? It says here that Robinson was stabbed to death by Jess Ewing because he crossed his claim. So that's the story I told you. Oh, and here's Jesse Ewing. I don't think they're here, but lived about five miles north of here at the head of Jesse Ewing Canyon. Jesse arrived in Browns Park in 1867. He was ambushed by Frank Duncan in dispute over affection for Madame Forstell, buried here by John Jarvie and Albert Speck Williams. I've just met Charlie. How you doing, Charlie? Doing good. I'm Mark. Mark, huh? Yeah. I'm down here to do a little story about Jesse Ewing. Jesse uh, Ewing. Not Jesse Ewing, excuse me. John Jarvie right. and the ranch here. Do you have a minute you could... Uh, should we go inside so I don't have any wind on this? Uh -huh. Is it true that uh, John Jarvie would hide out Butch and Sundance in the dugout back there? There are stories about them staying here, yes. Yes, okay. Whether it's true or not, you know, we have to ask them. <laughs> exactly. I love I, I love uh, the fact that, that people even talked about it, so I'm going to count it as true. Okay. All right. Well, can we go inside the store? I'd love yeah, to see what's in there. Okay. Yeah. So how much time do you spend here during the season? I'm here from May to October. Are you? Yeah. Me and my wife are here. We're the camp. Um, post. Uh huh. And we also take care of Is there the a campground here you can camp in? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, okay. Um, bridge Hollows right down here by the bridge. Yep. And then over here at Indian Crossing. Sure. Uh, yeah. Maybe a couple of I floated the river uh, the other day and we got out at Indian Crossing. Uh -huh. Well, let's go inside. Okay. And John Jarvie, of course, was murdered by two uh, bandits. They never did catch them, did they? No, they never were caught. They knew who they were. They, they had names for them. George Hood and Bill McKinley. There you go. And um, George actually was a sheep herder. He worked for Jarvie for a while. 
And the day they um, robbed and killed them, they actually walked in here. On, they didn't have a horse with them. They walked in here and Jarvie actually fed them. And afterwards they decided to make Jarvie open this safe. This is the original safe. That's right, right here. Uh -huh. Okay. They made him open the safe. Then um, after he opened, there's a hundred dollar bill in there and there was a revolver. But afterwards Jarvie shut the safe. He took off running and they shot him over by that footbridge over there. Oh, he knew that he was in trouble. Yeah, he knew he was in trouble. He was trying to get away. They shot him in the back. Shot him in the back. Yeah, then went up to him and shot him again in the back of the head. My hell. Yeah. And then they, did Did they put him adrift on the... Yeah, they dragged uh, his body down to the river. Yep. Okay, and they put him in a boat, and um, they actually tied, it to, tied him to the boat and floated him down the river. It wasn't the ferry boat? No. What it's kind a, of boat do we know? It's just a... I imagine a, a wooden um, kind of, I don't know. Right, kind of whatever they had back yeah, then. They had, yeah. and, uh, um, the next day, his son was working five miles away, sent a boy over here to get some supplies. And he came back and he told John Jarvis Jr. that um, something's happened to your dad's place. I can't find him and it's a mess. So John Jarvis Jr. came back and he found you know, the, the blood. Sure. Uh, and they were even dragged down the river. They thought at first they tied rocks onto them to yeah. sink in the river. They found all the cords and that left over the cords there. They left there by the boat. But um, it wasn't until eight days later they found him oh. Ooh. down by the Lador Cemetery. All the way down there. Yeah. Floated all the way down the river. To, the down that's there. a long ways from here. Yeah. He was still uh, still attached to the boat, but the boat had, had tipped over. Right. Okay. Wow. And the um, his body was decomposed pretty bad. Sure. They buried him down there at the door cemetery. Yep. So he's buried down there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down there after we get done here. Yeah. He, he, here's a here's a grave marker for him down there. Yeah. Wow. How old was he when all this happened? He's in his sixties. He's in his sixties. Well, at least yeah. he got into his sixties. Yeah. Do we know what year he? actually founded the store in, in 1880 in 1880 him and his wife you know they they met in rock springs uh-huh you know um he, he had a he's a part owner of a bar there and um nell would come and sing for him and they started courting each other they got married there they're about 15 years age and apart though uh-huh okay well back then then they came here they lived in the dugout we'll show you the dugout here yep right okay and um then they built the store place right there. This is set up just like he how he had it. Is it? Yeah. So an uh, actual U.S. post office. Yeah. Now those are actually come from uh, Jensen, Utah. Okay, downstream. Downstream. Only thing originally we have in here is for Jarvis is the safe. Is the safe. Is donated here. It is. Yeah, but it's mostly from the area. Sure. Even the telephone here. Is when the first phone's in the Browns Park. Did that phone work here? No, it no, it wasn't here. Um, one is at um, Beaver Creek. No, I think I was at the door schoolhouse. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, how interesting. And he actually, he was the lifeline for so many of the uh, yeah. settlers here, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He was a good old guy. They call him the, you know, the. Is this him? That is a picture of him, yeah. That's a picture. Wow. Must have been a little before his demise. About when he's 50s or so, this picture there. Wow, can you imagine mm -hmm. the grit it took to, to do something like this? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, can we go see the dugout? Yeah, let's go see the dugout. So, yeah, the, the legend of the story I've heard is the law would come hunting for Butch and Sundance. Yeah. And maybe, I don't know if they were together at that time. There was a, a bunch of other uh, yeah, they, notorious what? outlaws down here at that time. They were, we had a lot of them. So how the heck, I mean, it's pretty obvious this dugout's here. Yeah. But he'd probably just, now I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, 
he probably just uh, had the door locked and uh, says, oh, and there's right. nobody in there. Or... Actually, it's a two-room dugout. It is? If you look at it, it looks like it just be one room. Yeah. There's a story of uh, a posse coming, chasing them, and they um, put a board out between the back room, and the posse came in the front to the first room and did not know that they were back but in the back. Really? Jeez. Look at this. Is this the uh, current residence of yeah, the dugout? Like we never He's a we big fella. <laughs> yeah, fella. It has a low ceiling, so. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it has a wood, or excuse me, a dirt floor. Mm -hmm. Oh my heck. It, was this like Jarvie's first home? Yes. Yeah, that's where they first lived. They this was there. his first home. Called the honeymoon suite. I'm telling you, people, you got to come see this place. They, their first child may be born in here. But really? We don't know for sure. Junior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, they do, if the other house was built. Right. Oh, so they just simply put up a piece of wood right here, uh -huh. and it made it look like it was just one room. Yeah. Oh. I think they had a shelf on it. Look at this. See, I never got a chance to come in here when I worked this river. Oh, yeah? That was no, I didn't know any of this existed. Yeah, yeah my first time. This is all caved in. Was a, it? Yeah, there's a picture of John Jarvie now. That's pretty close oh. when they were married. Let's take a look here. She was pretty, yeah. wasn't she? Yeah, she was a pretty girl. And he's got the robust mustache that so many did back then. Uh -huh. Look at this. This is so intriguing. I can't hardly think about going back in time and living this. Nice you think they that. really cooked in here? Yeah, they did. They really cooked in that stuff in here. Right. And you know, in the summertime, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah, yeah. And probably stays relatively warm yeah. in the winter if you've got yeah. a heat yeah. source. Yeah. Geez, the way, how far have we come? It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this is just fabulous. I've got my uh, grandchildren, uh, two grand boys and two daughters going to be showing up here Wednesday. I'm going to see if I can get them to come down here. Are you open during the uh, all week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. We work on Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Tuesday through Saturday, so you can get two days off. Yeah. Look at this. Hey, watch your head there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have to watch this one usually gets me. Right? Oh, that one just got me. <laughs> Look at this. How fantastic. Oh, that one got me too. So let's see, how many years was he here then? He came in 1880 and he died in 1909. 1909. And his wife actually died in... Um, 1890. Oh, he raised oh so he was a widower. Boys. Yeah, he raised the four boys by himself. Huh. Well, Charlie, that's amazing, man. Okay. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. How cool is this, you guys? You got to come see the John hey, Jarvie Ranch. I honestly don't know of a place in the, in the western U.S. that is in such perfect condition and, and intact. Yeah. And really telling the story of... Mm -hmm. Well, after having an experience exceptional experience with Charlie, the, the keeper of uh, John Jarvie Ranch. We're going to head for Swinging Bridge and Swallow Canyon. Let's go for a ride. Here it is. The famous, well, not so famous, but the Swinging Bridge. And it's open. Yes. I am on the swinging bridge in Colorado crossing the famous Green River. I have been here for years. It's beautiful out here. We're going to take a little ride up across Canyon here now. Spectacular. 
Let's go see what else is out here. Well, it looks like we're on the right course. Let's go look at Krause Canyon and then maybe now I'm feeling. How you feeling, Mark? Want to go down that road to Swallow Canyon, take you all the way back to John Jarvie Ranch? That's a big loop. I might do that. Alright, let's get into the canyon here. But we're just gonna go up this little ways. If you wanted to, you go all the way to Vernal. Get all the way back up on the top of Diamond Mountain. Anyway, you get the gist of it, right? I think I'm gonna turn around and head back. I just wanted to give you an idea what this looks like, and I'd like to have enough time to go all the way up the top, but I don't wanna get stuck with that grader coming back up the road and me going the opposite direction. I better do this right now while I got a chance. So uh, I have taken the turn off off of Krause Canyon. I went up, turned around as you saw. And I'm just gonna see if I want to uh, <laughs> uh, go up and check a take a look at uh, Swallow Canyon from the top. You want to hang with me? See if I get this done. Time will tell. Well, I think I may have finally made it to the rim of the canyon here, or close. I don't see any mountains I can go any higher on. There's the park. So yeah, I, I think I think we're on it. I think the canyon's right down in there. Heck, we might as well just keep going this way. I'm not gonna turn around now. Are you kidding me, man? It's always kinda nerve-wracking to come up in a place like this by yourself. I have no cell phone service. I got enough food to last me a day or two, but I'd have to walk out of here and that wouldn't be any fun. Yeah, ooh, I think, I think we're here. I think I think I got us here. Let's let's go take a look. You with me? She's in park and emergency brake on. It's good. All right. Did I find it? I found it. Swallow Canyon. Oh, oh, just joking. Here we are. Oh, yep, there's the river. There's the takeout. Couple of boats down there. Infamous Swallow Canyon. How's that for a deep gorge? See if we get a perspective of it up here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that makes my butt pucker. Believe it or not, that river runs clear at times and it can be some pretty good trout fishing in there. Did you hear that? time for me to get off the mountain. Get a little dicey up here. All right, so I got off the mountain and it's time for me to make some time before this rain hits me because this road will turn the shit on me. Don't the flat, so let's make a little time. Okay, one more look. Look. I just barely got out of there in time. And I don't like standing here because of lightning, so just a quick before and after shot for you. It is common. For those of you that are visiting Flaming Gorge Reservoir or floating Utah's section of the Green River, you should take a day and explore the hideout of Butch Cassidy and the Wild Bunch. 
want to thank you for tagging along with me on my Browns Park adventure, just thinking about how the characters live in one of the most remote locations in Western history is truly amazing. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the show, smash that subscribe button, ring that silly bell for Navi Travi's next adventure. That was an amazing story. Right here, right inside the store, Charlie told us their names. They started to get after John Jarvin, and he ran over here to try and get away. He was in his 60s.